If you break down the word biomimicry, you have bios, which means life, and mimesis, which means to imitate. Biomimicry is the science of adapting solutions from biology to solve design problems. Living things are facing the exact same challenges that we are. They're striving to be faster, stronger, lighter, more efficient, and more sustainable. And the solutions that they come up with are both elegant and unexpected. Just think about the fact that 99.9% .9 of all species that have ever existed are now extinct. Their design solutions are the ones that don't work for this place and this time that we live in. The estimated 30 million species that remain are extremely well adapted to life on Earth, and they have a lot to teach us. Product designers and engineers can ask the same question of different types of organisms and get a wide range of answers, because there are so many different strategies across the five kingdoms. Take something simple like a ceiling fan, where you can find inspiration in many different organisms that interact with either water or air. When a biology professor was curious about the bumps on the leading edge of a humpback whale's flippers, he found out that they prevent stalling at high angles of attack. This is due to a crazy adaptation that solves the problem of a massive, slow-moving mammal that needs to catch and eat a whole lot of fish. You see, humpback whales have a unique feeding strategy. They swim in a circle while constantly exhaling to create a cylindrical wall of bubbles that the fish just won't swim through. And then they can swim straight up through the center with their mouths wide open to feast. And it turns out that the bumps on the flippers are what let them swim in such a tight circle despite their size, which gives the most effective bubble net. Fans designed with similar bumps on their blades leading edges use 20% less energy and are also more effective at moving air around the room. And the principle has been applied to wind turbines as well for a 20% gain in annual power production. Similar structures can be found on owl wings and have been used to design fans that are extremely quiet. Another designer found inspiration in how a sycamore seed pod travels through the air. It's well known that fewer fan blades are more efficient because every blade gets disrupted by the turbulence created by the blade in front of it. Despite this knowledge, nobody had ever designed a single bladed fan because it would be unbalanced. The sycamore seed pod, however, provided inspiration by showing how to balance the weight of the seed with the length of the blade for efficient delivery of air. One of my favorite things about biomimicry is that it bakes sustainability into innovation because natural systems just don't do unsustainable. Whether you're looking for the next big breakthrough or simply to improve the performance or sustainability of your product, nature has the answers that you need. And biomimicry provides the methodology for finding and applying these proven solutions to your trickiest product development challenges.